Good evening. Welcome to the public hearing for the State Road 535 PD&E study from US 192 to north of World Center Drive, otherwise known as State Road 536. My name is David Graber, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. Thank you for joining us. During the hearing, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and roadway operations along this segment of State Road 535. This hearing is being held to give you the opportunity to provide feedback on this project. We want to hear from you, and there are multiple ways that you can submit your questions and comments. Thank you for attending, and we will now begin the presentation. All hearing materials, including the presentation, are available on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 437174-2. Information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This hearing is being conducted virtually through GoToWebinar on Tuesday, June 18, 2024, and in person on Thursday, June 20, 2024. This public hearing was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720-6834, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the hearing notifications. The public hearing was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's Public Notices website, the project website, and in the local newspaper. In addition, adjacent property owners interested individuals, elected and appointed officials, and government agencies were also notified about this public hearing. This public hearing was advertised consistent with the federal and state requirements shown on this slide. The Environmental Review consultation, and other actions required by applicable federal environmental laws for this project are being, or have been, carried out by FDOT pursuant to 23 United States Code, Section 327, and a Memorandum of Understanding dated May 26, 2022, and executed by the Federal Highway Administration and FDOT. Project documents are available for viewing from Tuesday, May 28, 2024 through Monday, July 1, 2024 at the following locations. At the Orange County Public Library Southwest Branch, located at 7255 Della Drive, Orlando, Florida, 32819. The library hours are 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. 
Monday through Thursday, and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday and Saturday. This branch is closed on Sunday. And at the Osceola County Public Library, West Osceola Branch, located at 305 Campus Street, Celebration, Florida, 34747. The library hours are 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, and noon to 6 p.m. on Sunday. The project documents are also available on the project website at www.cflroads.com slash project slash 437-174-2. The purpose of tonight's public hearing is to share information with the general public about the proposed improvement, its conceptual design, all alternatives under study, and the potential beneficial and adverse social, economic, and environmental impacts upon the community. The public hearing also serves as an official forum, providing an opportunity for members of the public to express their opinions regarding the project. The three primary components of tonight's hearing are, first, the open house, second, a presentation, third, a formal comment period following the presentation where you will have the opportunity to provide oral statements. The State Road 535 PD&D study is located within Orange and Osceola counties. State Road 535 provides an important link for major roadways such as U.S. 192, State Road 417, and Interstate 4, and serves a high volume of traffic. The corridor also provides access to major activity centers, such as Lake Buena Vista factory stores, multiple hotels, residential communities, and Walt Disney World via State Road 536. The limits of this study encompass approximately two and a half miles from U.S. 192 on the south to just north of World Center Drive or State Road 536. The purpose of this PD&D study is to develop solutions known as alternatives that improve operations along State Road 535 accommodate future traffic demand, and improve safety. The project is needed to improve traffic operations and mobility, reduce congestion, and enhance safety for all modes of travel, including bicycle and pedestrian connectivity. A State Road 535 corridor planning study was completed in November 2017, the Corridor Planning Study identified the need for this PD&D study, which includes engineering evaluations, environmental assessments, public engagement, and agency coordination. Subsequent phases include final design and engineering, right-of-way acquisition, and construction. Final design and engineering is funded in fiscal year 2026, Right-of-way and construction phases are not yet funded. State Road 535 improvements have been identified in Metro Plan Orlando's Transportation Improvement Program, 2045 Long Range Transportation Plan, and the State Transportation Improvement Plan. Within the limits of the study, State Road 535 generally has two existing travel lanes in each direction separated by a grass median. The existing right-of-way varies from 190 feet to 224 feet in width. The existing posted speed limit varies from 45 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour. The State Road 535 PD&D study is evaluating alternatives that include widening of State Road 535 to six lanes, as well as improvements to intersections and bicycle and pedestrian facilities. 
Currently, several segments and intersections along State Road 535 are highly congested. This congestion is causing extended delays for motorists that drive the corridor. Turn lane queues at the multiple intersections back up, often to the adjacent intersections. Based on projected population and employment growth, as well as the anticipated future developments adjacent to the study area, the future traffic volumes along State Road 535 are expected to increase by more than 30% by the year 2045. Without any corridor improvements, the volumes and delays for motorists are anticipated to increase. Additionally, all segments along State Road 535 within the project limits currently exceed the statewide average crash rate and nine intersections are included on FDOT's high crash list. This graphic or heat map represents the concentration of crashes recorded within the study area in the five-year span from 2014 to 2018. The crash history along the corridor emphasizes the need for this project. There are currently gaps in the sidewalks and bicycle facilities along State Road 535. Numerous pedestrian and bicycle crashes have occurred along the study corridor within a five-year period. Safety and traffic conditions are anticipated to worsen if no improvements are implemented along State Road 535. A no-build alternative and build alternatives are being considered. The no-build alternative assumes that no improvements will be made to State Road 535 within the limits of this project, which serves as the basis for comparison to the build alternatives. The no-build alternative results in degraded future traffic operations and increased congestion. Additionally, the current bicycle and pedestrian facilities would not be improved. The no-build alternative does not meet the project purpose and need. The build alternatives include three travel lanes in each direction separated by a grass median. In addition, the build alternatives evaluated inside widening, outside widening, shared use paths, stormwater treatment, and intersection improvements. Based on the evaluation and feedback from the community, the Florida Department of Transportation is recommending widening State Road 535 towards the inside as the preferred alternative. It features curb and gutter, raised median width that varies from 32 feet to 47 feet, a 14-foot shared use path on the west side, and a 12-foot shared use path on the east side. In addition, where applicable, drainage swales will be provided between the shared use path and the edge of the outside travel lanes. In addition to the preferred alternative of widening the roadway to six lanes, intersection improvements were also considered. Some of the intersection improvements that were evaluated include traditional signalized intersections and several innovative intersection types. Innovative intersection types are designed to reduce the number of signalization movements within the primary intersection and provide operational and safety benefits. Some innovative intersection types that were evaluated include displaced left turns, quadrant roads, median U-turns, and loop roads. Four primary intersections were evaluated as part of this study. 1. Poinciana Boulevard 2. Polynesian Isle Boulevard 3. International Drive and 4. World Center Drive Next, each intersection will be reviewed in more detail. 
The preferred alternative for the Poinciana Boulevard intersection is signal improvements. The signal improvement will provide triple eastbound left turn lanes. The preferred alternative for the Polynesian Isle Boulevard intersection is a partial median U-turn intersection configuration. This is an example of the operations of a median U-turn intersection. A median U-turn intersection type removes the left turn movements from the primary intersection and reroutes them to a coordinated signalized U-turn intersection just past the primary intersection. Vehicles then make a U-turn back towards the primary intersection and turn right to continue to their destination. The preferred alternative for the International Drive intersection is an east-west partial displaced left turn intersection. This is an example of the operations of a displaced left intersection. A displaced left intersection moves left turning traffic across the opposing through lanes ahead of the primary intersection. Then, left turns are made at the same time as the through movements. The preferred alternative for the World Center Drive State Road 536 intersection is a north-south partial displacement left turn intersection. To improve safety and operations, it is recommended to close the existing full median at World Center Drive, State Road 536, just east of State Road 535. All other existing median locations throughout the study corridor will remain the same. Alternative locations for the project's drainage ponds were evaluated for the entire project length. The preferred pond locations for the proposed State Road 535 improvements are shown on the map. Pond sites will continue to be evaluated during the design phase. The PDND study evaluates the potential impacts and benefits to the natural, social, and economic, cultural, and physical environments associated with each alternative. Avoidance or minimization of impacts to these features is a key consideration. A hybrid alternatives public information meeting was held on August 11, 2022 at Embassy Suites, Lake Buena Vista South and online via GoToWebinar. This meeting provided an opportunity for property owners, residents, businesses, elected officials, stakeholders, and other interested parties to view project alternatives before developing a recommended set of improvements and ask questions of the study team and provide comments. Overall, comments focused on the need for State Road 535 improvements, intersection comments, informational requests, and comments on other area projects. The no-build and preferred alternative were evaluated and a summary of the potential benefits and impacts are summarized on this slide. The no-build alternative assumes that no improvements would be made and no direct impacts are anticipated. However, the no-build option does not address the existing or future needs of the corridor. The build alternative is anticipated to accommodate future traffic demand improve safety, and enhance bicycle and pedestrian connectivity. Although right-of-way acquisition may be required, no significant impacts are anticipated to the social, cultural, natural, and physical environments with the build alternative. The project will not cause any relocation of families or businesses. All right-of-way acquisition will be conducted in accordance with Florida Statutes 339.09 
and 421.55, and also the Federal Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970, commonly known as the Uniform Act. The right-of-way specialist at the in-person hearing is available to talk with you and answer your questions. For those attending virtually, you may reach out to the FDOT project manager who will direct your request to the appropriate right-of-way specialist. We are near the end of the pd and study. After the public hearing and all comments have been received, the study documents will be finalized and submitted for approval. The next project phase of design is funded for fiscal year 2026 and the project phases of right-of-way acquisition and construction are not funded. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public hearing record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Monday, July 1, 2024, will become part of the project's public hearing record. All questions will be responded to in writing following the hearing. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager David Graber directly by email at david.graber, that is G-R-A-E-B-E-R, -E -E at dot.state.fl.us, or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Delan, Florida, 32720-6834. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5392 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public hearing notification that you may have received by mail or email. To learn more about the project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 437174-2 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public hearing materials are posted on the website now. The next step is to incorporate your input on this public hearing into our decision-making process. After the comment period closes and your input has been considered, a decision will be made and the final pd and document will be approved. The project has and will continue to comply with all applicable state and federal rules and regulations. This concludes the presentation. Thank you for attending this public hearing and providing your input on this project.